if you're like most people, you have a lot of contacts in your contacts or people app, and you want to bring them up by name when using Cortana, it can be quite confusing. But we're going to show you how to assign nicknames to those people, why they're regular names rather than their full names, and even show you how we can handle duplicate names when you have two people with the same uh, first name. So let's take a look. So here I've created four accounts in uh, my people app, and they're all very similar. So I want to identify them uh, a little more uh, robustly by giving them nicknames. So if you click on the edit next to the name, you'll see there's a nickname field. So I went ahead and uh, put that in there for it. I said dad for that one. Here, uh, this one here, I'm going to go in and uh, I already put Uncle Bill, but I'm just going to change that to Bill. And I'm going to save that. And then the last two are uh, supposedly female names. And what I'm going to do is go in here and make uh, both of them Mary. And you might have two different email addresses or two different contacts that are who are really you know as Mary. Uh, so we're going to see how Cortana handles when those two accounts uh, have Mary as a nickname. So here we go. We're going to go in and uh, to test out Cortana and see uh, how she handles all the changes. Hey Cortana, send an email to Dad. Who's the email going to? Dad. What do you want to say? Now you notice uh, she didn't understand Dad the first time, but the second try uh, she did. Hey Cortana, send an email to Bill. What should your email say? So this time it did identify the right person as Bill and brought it up to send the email to. Hey Cortana, send an email to Mary. I'll send an email. Which Mary? The second one. What's your message? Now, you notice that not only did uh, Cortana bring up two email addresses, but she gave me the opportunity to reply, which I did so in natural language, and was able to select the second one uh, just by me telling her to. So now let's go over to the Windows Phone and see what happens when it automatically syncs over there. So I'm into my Windows Phone, and sure enough, there's the four um, email fake email addresses. Uh, so let's look at the first one here. And you'll see that there it is with the fake uh, phone number and email all in there. And so we're ready to go. So let's uh, let's go take a look at the uh, third one down, which is one of the Marys. Let's go in here and go back in to edit there as well. And let's come here and you'll see that we have uh, Mary in there as the nickname. So... Everything got transferred over, including the nickname, so now we can go to, uh, test it out and see how well it works. So let's go invoke Cortana. We'll sit there, press and hold the search uh, button here at the bottom of the screen. Call Mary. Which one? Zambia Zumwalt, Zelda Zumwalt, or Mary Health? The third one. Sure thing, Mary Health. Which number? Mobile, Mobile 2, or work? Now, as you can see, not only did it find the two that I had, but it found another entry uh, with Mary in it. it. Asked me which one. I answered in natural language. And then when the one I selected had multiple phone numbers, it asked me which one I wanted to do that. So there you have nicknames in uh, Windows 10 for both desktop and the phone. Uh, really handy to have to organize and keep you committing, wasting time finding the right contact. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.